Emily Koopman, congratulations. Thank you so much. I, I know it's not show night yet, but it almost is. And I know that basically you've done all the legwork to create the big night that is Spread the Net fundraiser at the Tidemark Theater on Saturday night that, that you can. Uh, I, I did the Entertainment for Canada Day in Campbell River last year. I know uh, the months of work that it takes. I know they're running around in the phone calls and the emails and the stuff and the visioning and all that kind of stuff. So congratulations. Thank you. Are you tired? I'm very tired and also very <laughs> behind in my schoolwork. Well, that, that touches on a neat thing. You've got this concept of Spread the Net was raise money for the cause, right? Yes. They didn't give you guidelines on what you should do, what what your idea should be, right? No. So you came up with this whole concept yourself. Yes. <laughs> and you've basically done it all yourself. I have. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and the fact that you're still in school and they haven't kicked you out of school yet because <laughs> of the running around that you've done. And uh, what's funny and, and interesting and neat about this is uh, one, it's a fundraiser being put on for or, or by youth, but in a way, including youth and well, anybody can go, but it, it's certainly uh, for youth. Also, I was looking at Brock Zan Ros Rosso's tweet from earlier today, and he said, ah, oh, dang it, grad pictures today, and I woke up with a zit on my lip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so all your worlds are sort of the same right now, aren't they? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Very excited about the show. Let's talk about why you're doing the show. Spread the net. Uh, my social studies teacher kind of spearheaded the whole event. What's your teacher's name? Uh, Madame de Rocher. Okay. She's a social studies teacher and a French teacher at Cary High. She kind of got us, got the ball rolling for everyone. We did some bake sales and like bottle drives and that kind of thing. And I brought up to her back in October, I said, what if I put on a concert? And she was like, okay, yeah, good luck. And so <laughs> I started getting things organized and I contacted, I know, uh, some of, I've known Brock for a while and his mom and so I got in touch with them and I was like oh do you think Brock could come play at this show and they were like yeah sure and so then I got in touch with Kate and then I needed an MC because I'm very shy <laughs> and so I contacted Gig he and his mom have we've been talking about it for a while and they came up to visit after Christmas so well, I got to say, you got some really good contacts. You've got better contacts than I have. So congratulations on that, too. Thank you. So Spread the Net itself is an organization that literally buys nets. Yes. They're uh, treated with insecticide. So if even like a mosquito lands on one, then it will eventually die. So if there's if they're carrying malaria, then they won't be anymore. Right, so it, it's protecting kids and, and pregnant women in, in countries that, that have to deal with yeah. mosquitoes that are carrying malaria. Mostly Africa. Right, so it's it's a fun night, but it's it's putting the fun into fundraiser as well. Yeah. you got sitting beside you one of the gentlemen that's part of the fun night, and Gig Morton. <laughs> yes. That was, that was a name, now I have to say, uh, the shows I normally watch are like the, the, you know, the older folks shows or what my four-year-old is watching. So I'm very excited about the fact the Backyardigans are coming next week. <laughs> but I wasn't familiar with Mr. Young, but I went on to uh, YTV's website and it was fantastic. You can, f can find all the episodes there. And I was watching an episode gig where you were pulling a prank on your buddy uh, and you turned him into a snowman. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, first, let me let me say this. It's always very neat to find people who have... Uh, achieved something pretty darn cool and you find out they're from our area and and you're originally uh, and sort of still live in yeah in courtney in i'm courtney. originally from courtney i was born in comox and, okay uh, i had to move to burnaby to film mr young but i do come back for christmas and my dad still works in in comox so that's fantastic congratulations to you thank you I, both of you deserve these congratulations i'm handing out i don't do this in all the interviews but you guys deserve congratulations in what you've achieved thank you so uh with that so uh, how long have you have you been doing mr young mr young we just fin finished our uh, second season and we've been doing it for like a year and a half now uh, how old are you can i ask yeah i'm 15 you're almost 16 <laughs> so you're still in you're still in school too yeah i'm homeschooled all these all these school age kids doing all this cool stuff brock san rosso yourself kate morgan now she's she's the oldest of the bunch isn't she? she's 18 yeah. she was playing at lilith fair in calgary when she was 16 yeah yeah so you guys are, are a talented bunch gig you have a buddy who's joining you as well your first what what's your role again in in the evening i'm gonna be the mc and yeah so i'm gonna be entertaining everybody in between you know uh, Brock and, and Kate, and we're going to be introducing them and, and 
explaining to to people who come like all about the fundraiser. And so my friend, who's also a Mr. Young, Brett Dyer, he's going to be joining me because I think he's a very funny guy, and he plays uh, Hutch Anderson on uh, Mr. Young, uh, Ivy's love interest. And so him and I are going to have lots of fun, and uh, he might um, break dance. I'm going to tap dance. That's very cool. First, thanks for for being part of this event gig. Emily, thank you again so much for your hard work for putting this on and one uh, bringing some fantastic talent to our area that we get to see and, and folks that we've never seen before and two, for doing it for a fantastic cause. Now, uh, the cool extra little tidbit at the end of this is if you do really well, who shows up to town? Rick Mercer. Rick Mercer. <laughs> right, he was snorkeling with our salmon last summer. We'll, we'll see if, thanks to your efforts and everybody else involved in the show, Gig and the Gang, if we can get them back here again. Yes, definitely. <laughs>